All right, guys, welcome to this video lesson on how to be a first round draft pick as a pre PT. So, some of you who don't follow sports might be thinking to yourself, like, what's a first round draft pick? What really is this? So, let's take it back a step and let me explain. So, like in the NBA and NFL and whatnot, there are certain dates, there are certain times where that organization gets together as a collective and chooses the best uh, athletes or the best prospects for their team. Same, same as for the NBA, same for the NFL, and so on. They pick the best athletes out of college or international players and whatnot to be on their team. So, does this sound a little familiar? Does this sound like something a pre-PT might have to go through? You're coming out of undergrad in college and you're trying to get to the next level. You're trying to be in grad school, just like those athletes are trying to be in their professional sports. Then at a certain date, a certain time, all these schools come together, or most of the schools come together in the form of PT cast and draft or take the best applicants from that collective group. So how do you become that first round draft pick? And even this, some schools even do pick applicants in round. So how do you become that first round draft pick, that top choice? This is what we're gonna go over in this lesson. The top five ways to become the first round draft pick as a pre-PT. So number one, the number one tip is to be positionless. Those of you who follow basketball, you know, probably know who LeBron James is. And LeBron James can pretty much play any position on the court point guard to center, shooting guard, power forward, small forward, whatever it is, he can play all positions. He can do offense, defense, dunk, shoot threes, all that stuff, he is positionless. So what does that mean? He becomes more valuable to any team he goes on. To any team he's a part of, he can make better because he's not just good at defense. He's not just good at observation hours, hello? He's not just good at grades or you're not just good at grades, he's not just good at three-point shooting. He is positionless, he can do everything, and that's what you need to be. You have to have everything together. You have to be positionless with your letters of recommendation, GRE, GPA, uh, mission trips, whatever you gotta do, you have to be positionless to make yourself the most valuable applicant to that school. So that's number one, is be positionless. Number two, number two is starting early. If you guys follow athletes or follow sports at all, you know that these athletes start young. They start in, you know, Pop Warner leagues or they start in AAU basketball or these leagues as young players. They've been honing their craft for years. When Kobe or LeBron James steps on the court in the NBA on national television, you're not seeing them from when they were young. You haven't seen all the work they put in. They're not a number one draft pick for no reason. These first round draft picks in football, baseball, uh, the NBA are not first round draft picks for no reason. Same for you. You are not a first round draft pick for no reason. You need to start early just like these athletes have. If you're three years out, two years out, applying next cycle, you have to start early to make yourself valuable to hone your craft, to get your grades up, to study for the GRE, to get those letters of recommendations in, to make the best PTCAS essay possible, to visit all the schools, to choose a school, so much you gotta do. So you gotta start early. You have to start early. So that's number two, waste no time and start now. Number three is attend pre-draft workouts. Attend pre-draft workouts. And if you're following me at all, you might be like, oh, maybe that's a campus visit. Yes, absolutely right. Attend those workouts, attend those visits. Uh, if, even if it's a Skype call, if it's a phone call, whatever it is, you gotta attend them. Not only for the school to know you, but for you to know the school. Because it's a two-way street here, don't forget it, we say it all the time, the school needs you just like you need the school. So attend the school, attend that pre-draft workout to get a feel, to see even if it's right for you. So these athletes, these college players, international players, go to these workouts for the team to see them and for them to see the team and see how well they deal with the coaches, other players, see how they stack up, all that good stuff. So you have to do the same thing. Attend that pre-draft workout. That's number three. Number four is now you have to take a step back and kind of shift positions a little bit. You have to put yourself 
in the general manager's point of view or the owner of that team's point of view, which means you gotta put yourself in the faculty's point of view, in the, in the department chair's seat, the admissions director's seat. So take a second here, let's, let's lean back, let's chill out for a second. If you had a PT school, if you were in charge of a PT school, if you were the admissions director to a PT school, you see where I'm going with this? Who would you pick? Would you pick yourself? Think about it, take a second. If you had a school, if you were the admissions director, if you were a department chair, would you choose yourself in the first round? Would you choose an applicant who is like yourself right now in the first round? If that's a yes, great, let's go, you got this. If not, let's get to work and get started now. Going back to point two, start early. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta put yourself in their seat and see, you know, what do they really want? What would you really like in an applicant? Who would be a good fit for you? What would you like to see? Would you like to see good grades? Would you like to see a variety of observation hours? Would you like to know that your student that you're picking can make it through your program from start to finish? Would you like to know that your student in your program can pass the national board exam on the first try to make your school look better? Have you thought of that before? So that's number four. You have to put yourself in their shoes to become a first round draft pick, to really get that global perspective of what you really need to do. So that's number four. If you need to pause this video and think, go ahead. But let's move on to number five. The last point is now you have to have a high IQ, a high game IQ. You have to do your research. You have to study the game. You have to know what the school is about. You have to know the school better than they know themselves. You have to know whoever's interviewing you well. You have to know the department well. You have to know the location well. You gotta do your research. Have a high game IQ. Like Tom Brady has a high game IQ. LeBron James has a high game IQ. Michael Jordan knows the game in and out. Tiger Woods knows every part of the game of golf. You gotta have a high game IQ when it comes to this stuff. If you wanna stand out, if you wanna be average, you don't have to do all this, but if you wanna stand out and separate yourself from everybody fighting for your spot, because in the NBA, in the NFL, only a certain percent gets into the league. Everybody else doesn't get in. They go work whatever jobs they're gonna work. But that first round draft pick has to have a high game IQ in order to separate themselves from the hundreds and thousands of other athletes or applicants in your case. So you have to do your research and be intentional about everything that you do. Be intentional, be interested in that school, that interviewer, whoever it is, that faculty member, more than you're trying to be interesting to them. So hope that helped. Hope you understand now what it takes to be a first round draft pick as a pre-PT and separate yourself from the hundreds and thousands of other applicants fighting for your number one spot. That's your spot, don't let anybody else choose it. Don't let anybody else take it from you. That's your spot. So I hope you enjoyed this video lesson. Make sure you sign up for the webinar, the free webinar on the six steps to PT school without wasting time or money. I know that's a lot of your fears on, okay, I don't wanna waste any more time and I definitely don't wanna waste any more money. So if you want to know those six, those six steps on how to get into PT school without wasting time, without wasting time or money, sign up for the webinar now. Links are above, links are below. There's pictures everywhere. Make sure you get on the list and I'll see you at the webinar and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.